it's my ninth professional season and maybe last year was for me time to reset a little bit and do different things. And then 2021 it was, he only started mid-June which uh, is fairly late for all of us and then I had the joy to become a dad um, at that time so I guess it was probably my best year so far and yeah I missed the first two races which was a bit of a bummer because obviously you trained for it uh, for months and uh, and yeah I just couldn't start the season uh, like I should have but um, on the other side it was probably the the best race of my life running to the hospital and uh, seeing uh, our little girl Clementine being born. Being a professional mountain bike racer is a full-time job. We might only get to see what's happening during the season, but the biggest part of the job happens when there are no cameras to be seen. Over the last few years, racing has got tighter and tighter. So I knew coming into that trail that maybe I would miss a little bit of rhythm. So I knew it would be difficult, but the first few stages I was right up there, you know. I was super happy until the last stage and just lost the front end and uh, hit the floor and the race was pretty much over, so. Pursuing such a career is a massive life commitment. It needs to be driven by a strong passion for the sport to justify so many sacrifices. Every athlete faces a challenge when results don't match expectations and sometimes taking a step back from racing becomes a necessity. It wasn't exactly the beginning of the season that I was looking for but you know I knew there was a lot of races to come so sometimes to make. I knew I was fitter than at the beginning of the season. I knew I had more time on the bike as well, but also, you know, I wanted to actually finish a race without a crash and um, build my confidence back, um, which is totally what I did. Finished fourth, very close to the podium, but not quite there. Um, so I had kind of a mixed feeling after the first race. Second race, obviously had a crash, had mechanicals, didn't really go the way that I really wanted. There is some years where everything goes very smooth and other years where you know you feel like there is always something on the way. And uh, so far this season, I feel like uh, it's been the case for me. In practice, I really felt like the courses were totally different, a little bit more wide open and um, more speed as well, I feel like, uh, to the stages. Um, and finally, it was, I think, probably the first day that it wasn't raining and we had very dry tracks for Cromontana, so I felt ready for it.
I guess it finished pretty well. Um, finally got the first podium this season, which I was kind of relieved. Uh, and not so far off the first place either. Uh, timing have been super close uh, this season and uh, yeah, was I guess motivated and uh, relieved that uh, I got that podium finally. How did you get on? Obviously a team podium is always something special, um, uh, but yeah, it really felt amazing because it's at the end of the day it's a team effort and we're all working together to achieve uh, the best possible and uh, I felt like Cremontana was uh, a relief I think for all of us and a good time all together on the podium.